Okay. My name is Gail Randall. I'm from Richmond, and I served for years as a guide at Historic Jamestown. For over a hundred years, concerned Virginians have successfully prevented a bridge from being built within the viewshed of the Jamestown Island. Now, we have Dominion wanting to put towers across the James, which will forever desecrate this priceless historic view of James River. Incredibly, however, there is a real question regarding whether a new transmission line will even be necessary in the near future or ever. Why? Because of the Supreme Court decision in June that has rendered the EPA's mercury, air, and toxic standards rule null and void. That rule was the key driver for accelerating Dominion's proposed transmission line. Inexcusably, the Corps, and Corps engineers have totally ignored this decision, which on June 29th reversed and remanded the match rule back to the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals. That decision was made three months before the Corps' October 1 white paper. Unless and until the EPA can propose a new rule and a legitimate cost-benefit analysis that can survive yet another court challenge. The rule affecting York Town Units 1 and 2 is voided. The Yorktown Power Station closing rationale is no longer valid. Closing any unit at the plant is unacceptable and unnecessary. Unit 3 should not be retired Contrary to the Corps' analysis, Dominion will have the means to deliver natural gas to this unit. Dominion should be restricted to using existing crossing routes across the James River that parallel the current bridges. It is imperative that they reevaluate whether a new transmission line is even necessary. And if it is, the existing river crossings must be considered as the only option. Thank you.